morning, everybody. Welcome to the New England Aquarium. My name is Belinda. I'm one of the trainers here, and I'm going to introduce you to Katovi. Now, Katovi lives here. She was born here at the New England Aquarium. She's seven years old, and with Katovi, we're going to do some special type of training with her today. We're going to do some husbandry training. So husbandry is basically training the seals to participate in their own health care. So if you think about it, when you go to the doctors, they might ask you to open your mouth, so you do. They might ask you to step on the scale. Uh, they might just ask you how you're feeling or to take a deep breath. So we can sort of provide some of this um, communication with our seals. So if they're not feeling well, there are ways that they can actually help um, in telling us what's going on. So we do a lot of practices as part of our training program here. So today, what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna ask Katovi to step on this scale. This platform here um, is pretty sensitive, and if you follow that reader, it's set on zero pounds right now. So hopefully Katovi's comfortable, she'll get up on the scale, and we monitor their weight. So we get weekly weigh-ins from them just to make sure that they're growing and that they're healthy. Um, one of the things that can happen to an animal that isn't healthy is they could lose weight. So it's really important that we track their weight. So we'll um, ask them to do that pretty frequently just to make sure they're doing okay. Another thing I'll point out is this contraption we have over here. This here is actually a portable x-ray stand. So our vet staff are here on site and if uh, we needed to or there was a question, um, we weren't sure if the animal was okay, we can obtain voluntary x-rays. So it's a big yellow box, a portable x-ray machine, and essentially they'll hang it on here. And what they can do is set up an x-ray plate which is what we have down here. This gray thing is actually an x-ray plate. We sunk it into the floor. So it's not very frightening for the animals since they're used to running around on the deck. And we can ask the animals to lie down and scoot a particular part of their body that we're interested in over this x-ray plate and we can take an image. Now that's super helpful because we can actually run upstairs run the plate and check the image and know within minutes if something's wrong. So this is a wonderful thing to practice. I'm not gonna bring the big box today. Today we're just practicing having her going underneath this stand. So you can imagine if you're a little seal, this could be pretty intimidating, right? So we gotta practice it pretty often. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. I think we'll do the scale first and then we'll go ahead and try the x-ray machine. So this is Katovi right here. Good morning, Kit. Being a northern fur seal female, she's not gonna get very big. She'll reach about 100 pounds when she's fully grown. But since she's only seven, she won't be quite 100. We're gonna go ahead and see what she is right now. And she lives here with her friend Luna. So you'll see Luna being trained and played with um, on the far side. Are you ready, Kit? So we'll ask Katovi to come up, step on the scale, and I say, hold it. 76 pounds. Good kid, good job. When I say good, that lets her know she did a wonderful job. I have a big juicy squid that she can chomp on in the water. So after practicing this quite a bit, the scale is not scary. Now for first seal females, as I mentioned, They'll reach a top weight of about 100 pounds. And her being 76 is actually a pretty good weight for her age. As they get older, they get bigger and bigger. Her mom who lived here, which one do you want? You want fish or squid? Her mom who lived here lived, ended up being um, over 100 pounds as well as her grandmother. So I suspect that Katovi will get that big as she gets older too. Great job, Katovi. Good job with the scale. Yeah. Other things we can do is just overall body checks. So if we needed to look at their eyes, we might um, train them to <laughs> station. I know it looks good, doesn't it? Station their nose on our hand so I can get a good look at her eyes. She's looking at her bucket. Good, as well as our vet staff can do that. So that's really, really important. And we'll see actually if you guys can get a good look at her eyes too. So we look for any abnormalities or say she's squinty. We can have our vet staff come out, check her eyes out. Can you show them your eyes? 
very good. So you can see that their eye health um, will do a lot of voluntary setups as well. Okay, let's move on to that x-ray behavior because that's the big one. You ready? Let's go. So I'll sort of put you guys in the position of the vet staff, which is right against this wall here. So where you guys are standing is actually where our vet staff would be standing and they hold like a, a button that would have a wire and connect to the box here. So normally in this situation, I might be wearing a lead vest to protect myself. Um, come on up here. And then we just ask Katobi to lie down, say there's something on her body we wanted to check. And then the vet staff say her flipper, right? See her flipper on the plate? They could suddenly take an image. Good, Katobi. Now I'm gonna give her a little bit and we'll see if we can set her up. Let's pretend we want to get an image of something in her belly, okay? Let's say we were concerned there was something going on and we just wanted to get an image without frightening her. So, let's see, you ready? Ask her up this way, let's turn her and say, is there something in your belly? Come on over, hold it, hold it, hold it. And they could take the image there and you can see she's lying right over the plate and they could get her belly. Good girl, Kit, nice job. So this is really great practice and it's really important that we do this type of training. And this is actually the primary reason why we train is to ask the animals to participate in their own health care. And since we have a little bit of extra fish and time, maybe I can show you guys a couple of other things that we do. So one of those, um, why don't I bring you guys with me? We're gonna go back over here, okay? Hi, Kit. So one of those was those eye exams we talked about, getting a good look at her eyes. She's also learning to open her mouth. Good, so we can check out her teeth, tongue, and gums and make sure that everything is okay. Oops, sorry, sweetie. I'll see if she'll lie down so we can check out her back and her, oops, sorry, and her flippers. This is also a pretty vulnerable position. If you think about it, if you're a little fur seal, having like me like hunker over you can be scary, right? So we'll practice this quite a bit. And this is great, because now I can look at Katobi's flippers, her front and her back flippers. I can look at her back. Maybe she'll roll over. Yeah, now we can look at her belly. See that? We can get a good look at her belly, the underside of her flippers. Good girl! And make sure that everything is okay. So all of this training is super important, and we can't do that without establishing a really positive relationship with the animals here. So I have to make sure that Katobi doesn't trust, uh, that she does trust me. I wanna make sure she knows that I'm not gonna bite her, I'm not gonna attack her, I'm not a predator, that I am her buddy and her friend. So she feels comfortable hanging out around me. So a couple things I did, you, can, you guys can stay right there, is I actually worked with her mother and her mother was really comfortable with me. So when Katobi was born, her mom would hang out um, and be comfortable with me approaching Katobi as a little pup. And then Katobi learned from her mom, oh, this lady isn't scary. And then I would start to play with her. I would play different games <laughs> and I'd get really close to her. Oh, you just love, oh yeah, pick what you want. Um, all different games with her. And soon she learned that, you know, we're sort of like uh, fun um, sort of play objects for them to hang out with and to play with. And you can see that Katobi is super, super comfortable with me. She can climb all over me. And Katobi's really fun. She'll actually come in the hallways in the kitchen to hang out with us. So she's very sweet. She's a very good girl. Good job. Water. For real. <laughs> so what I think we'll do is we're going to finish up with Katobi. But I'm going to ask her one more time. Maybe she'll give you guys a sweet kiss in the camera there. So you want to say goodbye to everybody? You want to thank them? Big kiss? Big kiss? Mwah, nice. <laughs> well done, Katobi. All right, we're going to go ahead and let her play with her food. She's eating herring and squid, um, which is her two favorite types of food. Hi. Yeah, good girl. 
And the little one next to her is Luna. She's another fur seal female. She was a rescue. Now Luna is a couple of years younger, but they are BFFs. So they hang out together. They have a really strong bond with each other. All right, let me go ahead and finish up little Katobi. Good girl. And then I can hang out for a few minutes if you guys have any questions. Um, I'll do my best to answer them. Good job, Kate. Very well done. Well done. Excellent, Katobi. And she'll kind of go off and do her Katobi thing. She can hang out with us if she wants to. Um, she can play with toys. Whatever it is she would like to do, it's certainly um, her time to do it. And this x-ray stand will probably pull off in a couple minutes, but usually something this big will kind of set up um, outside of sessions so it becomes part of their environment and they get comfortable with it. So it's like desensitizing them to it so we don't just pull it out right before we train. Um, we try to bring it out ahead of time. So there you go. There's a little bit of husbandry training. You guys know that Katovi now weighs 76 pounds. And they'll actually all get recorded in our records. We keep daily records on them too. Do you remind people how often we x-ray the animals? Yeah, we, we x-ray them on an as-need basis. So we've done x-rays with the animals um, if we suspect there's something going on. So if an animal um, strained their flipper, her mother actually had a bone spur in her shoulder. So what we first started noticing was um, her putting more weight on one side than the other. So it's like having a really sore knee or shoulder. And so because of that, she was able to lay down the x-ray, we could see the bone spur and we were able to treat it. We actually used laser therapy, to, uh, which was super cool, which she would sit still and you basically run like a laser over their shoulder. And it provided a lot of relief for her and made it a lot better for her. Um, so we don't x-ray them like, we x-ray them when we need to not so much like on a, re a regular schedule, but we will practice it on a regular schedule just in case. I think that's it for now. Okay. Well, thank you guys so much for coming and checking out Katovi. She's such a, a wonderful animal and I'm happy to share it with you guys.